So oh, good morning, or for you, good afternoon, Stephen. Uh, we're very happy that you have taken the time to moderate this upcoming virtual conference on uh, improving the image of TVET, uh, making it attractive to young people. So that the participants can get to know you a little bit better, uh, could you quickly introduce yourself? Sure, thanks, Walter. Yes, my name's um, Professor Stephen Billett, and I work at Griffith University, Brisbane, Australia. Um, this area has had a history, about a 50 year history of being involved in vocational education, principally associated with the preparation of TAFE teachers, technical and further education teachers in the state of Queensland, but in more recent times also uh, research in the fields of vocational education and um, TVET. My own background is that I'm actually a graduate of TVET. I studied um, garment manufacturing many years ago in the 1970s in Britain. And I then went on to work in the industry sector, both in Britain and Australia for many years. At some point, I, I left the industry and became a, a TVET teacher, um, teaching in the field of, of, of garment manufacturing. And then I became a, a teacher educator for teachers within TVET and also involved in the professional development of, of TVET teachers. Subsequently, I was involved in roles associated with policy for vocational education in the state of Queensland, but also being involved in national initiatives that placed vocational education at the centre of um, macro and uh, economic changes um, in, in Australia. Um, for the last 25 years or so, I've been working at Griffith University and focused on teacher education, as I've mentioned, but also on research into vocational education. And I have a particular emphasis on how people learn through their work and how we can integrate those work-based experiences within TVET programs. I'm also the, the founding editor of the journal Vocations and Learning and also the editor of a book series associated with um, learning through through work. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, a wealth of experience, and we're very lucky to have you with us uh, over the coming one and a half weeks. Uh, the virtual conference will look at measures to improve the image of TVET and make it more attractive to young people. Uh, could you maybe please run us through how the virtual conference is structured and when we'll be discussing what? Okay, thanks, Walter. Yes, well, it all starts on Monday, Monday the 16th. And the first um, of five threads is, is concerned with the image of TVET and the consequences of that image. And, you know, the idea here is that we need to understand the, the issue, the problem, and how this, is, how this plays out across um, different countries. On the 17th, we engage in um, the second thread, which is trying to identify the factors that um, shape the image or standing of, of TVET and, again, how that plays out. It seems important to understand these factors because if we are seeking to remedy the situation or change the situation, it's important to understand you know, the basis of that and what generates the particular image and what can be done to address issues or problems associated with it. The third thread, which is on the 18th, is focusing on the, the perspectives of young people. And we hope to get views and perspectives of the young people who make decisions about how they engage with TVET and how they persist with it and how they, they use it. And also, what, what shapes their thinking and acting in terms of making decisions about their, their participation in TVET. And we hope to have some examples and some um, teasers from, um, uh, from young people. Then we move on to the fourth thread on the 19th, and that's about the kinds of policies and practices that are being enacted to try and enhance the image of, um, of, of TVET. And here we'll have accounts from different countries and different uh, policy efforts to try and change the, the perceptions of, of and the image of TVET. And then finally, on the 23rd, we have the fifth thread, which is uh, evaluating the, um, uh, these initiatives. How do we know, for instance, when they're going to be successful and in what ways they are being successful? So that fifth thread 
rounds off the um, rounds off the, 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 the virtual conference. Now, throughout, the idea is to provide you with some resources, but also uh, particularly provide you with questions and teasers so as we can start a conversation, we can start an engagement. And my role will be to try and keep that conversation going and draw inferences from it and share those inferences with the, the delegates. One thing that's important is that while some of the, the examples we will use will come from you know, Western Europe, from places like Germany and Switzerland and Denmark, etc. That what's very important is that we realize that what works in Maastricht won't work in the Maghreb, or Marrakesh, or Maputo, or Mumbai, for instance. They're alone through Mogadishu. And that what works in those situations might not work in Maine, or Montreal, or here in Australia, in Melbourne. So we're very conscious that there's going to be a set of issues which seem to be common across many countries, and that is the low image of TVET. But the, the way it plays out, that what needs to be done, is likely to be quite distinct to nation states, the particular history and cultural practices of, of those countries. And so it's important that we gain insights from a range of examples and not just those from um, Western Europe. So hopefully, and already looking at the, um, uh, the list of participants, we're going to have a lot of input from, from Africa, um, from the Americas. And that's going to be very important because it will challenge the ideas that what works in Europe will work necessarily work in, in, in those countries. And just to finish up, already there's been a very interesting contribution which is positioning this topic as being core, as being central to the TVET project, and I couldn't agree more. So I look forward to engaging with you starting next uh, Monday on the 16th and working with you across until the 23rd. Thanks very much and looking forward to engaging with you.